Hey, hey everybody, Cory down here again. Welcome back to part two, episode three of season two of my random omelis runs. I should probably just take out the season two part and just start referen referencing the episodes. Maybe next time I'll just see how many episodes of uh, random hero runs I did before and then add them all up. But we got some level ups to do. We're going to do... Actually, we don't need to transform cards because we're going to get transformed there. So, Tactician. Uh, Range Mastery, of course. I don't even know why I was guessing. And then, do I want Resourceful? Or do I want Mind Leech? I think we're going to go Resourceful. And we won't be able to remove cards, so removing some now is actually the better choice. I'm going to toss out a regular heal, and we're going to toss out Barrier. Zek. Zek, 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 Zek. I think I'm going to toss out that Shadow Bolt. And we're going to try to cut down to mostly curses only. Sylvie, we're going to get rid of that Shrapnel Shot just because it pains me to see it. We're going to get rid of Spiked Ball there. We're going up, up, and away we go. That's a Corrupted Entrench. I gotta take it. Alright, there we starting off strong with the... Uh, porcupine there. I think I play this for the extra... Uh, energy next time. That guy's going to be annoying. Who needs guard the most? Probably Sylvie. Aim shot, dark blob. This guy doing Hellmark first turn every time. Super annoying. Alright. We get some interesting choices here. Ammunitions. We can get a zero cost poison spray for next... Or actually, it's this turn. I lied. Alright. I don't think I'm going to play the cam... Actually, no. Do play the camo. Multi-shot. Poison spray. Right. I want to save some uh, energy for next turn rather than play the far shot. Because I feel like this guy's going to die early no matter what. Ooh, we get Shadow Binding. Perfect. Who casing how strong of a support Zek is with the right setup? And we're just going to do that to draw it and toss it. But Shadow Binding is going to give us all an extra turn next turn. So I'm going to put it on my DPS. And then we can also uh, give Sylvie 10. And give Nez. Uh, let's go Sylvie all the way to 10. Dang. Uh, Crescent Light, it is. Alright, that thing's dead. Sylvie, we probably should have sharpened. Up. The expressive prophecy. Er, the expe Ugh, words. Prophecy. For, uh, next turn. Alright. We do get some. Alright. Do that. Camo. Quick shot. Smoke bomb. Fan. Multi shot. Plague shot. Alright. So standard bearer. Stockade to heal up. Thorns for even more thorny goodness. And then we get a lot of bouncy curses here. Or bouncy spells. Doing the pinball Zek. Uh, another stockade. I think we pass on it. It's not purple. We take another curse with Zek. And we pass, pass here. Terror Ring. That's pretty amazing. Red Steel Cloak. Also pretty amazing. Uh, Flaming Sword on Zek. For no reason. I think I'm going to keep the handbook. 
Stimulant pills if we had another inventory slot on Bree. Let's try to get the discount. Oh, we crushed the discount. Alright, we're gonna change these rapid fire. Oh, we'll change one. We'll go with one of every color. Change that to one cost. We'll have to watch what I'm spending here. Make that a yellow. Make this a blue. I'll change that to two turns. Make that that. Uh, purge. What I'm hoping for is a Curse Nomicon somewhere down the line. Shadow Binding at Flying Darkness is kind of interesting. But uh, we do need to change some things up on Nez to make him a bit better. Yeah, I think that's the play. Alright. More elites! Flame Strike Zach, no thank you. Alright. So I think it's a battle shout into Entrench turn. And this guy is purging. I don't like that. Alright. Let's just see what we can do here. I think we far shot, camo, multi shot. And then we hit him with another multi shot. And Phil is almost dead. I think Phil will probably be dead. Our shifting scroll. Shadow binding so the Zek gets a turn. Or Nez. So I think we curse of frailty. It's gonna look like Nez. Shadow binding. And I'm gonna start the Black Death here. So it pinballs for higher damage to other people. There we go. And was hoping for the bouncy, the other pinball, but no we'll be fine. Alright. So, anybody getting slowed? No. We're just gonna try and do that on Zek. And I'm just gonna trigger this twice. Because he's gonna be a pain. And purge somebody. Purge 5 too, that's a whole row. Somebody's about to have every single debuff or er, buff stripped. Except Bree. Okay, it was Nez. <laughs> okay. Uh Zek's so good. I'm gonna just get dark packed out. Nope. Oh man surge. Uh we can do another entrench or we can do a thousand needle. I think we do another entrench. Alright, so we so we can do Falcon Shot, Camo into Rapid Fire. And there goes all that guy's armor. We can even Smoke Bomb, avoid some of the damage. Temporal Chains? No Temporal Chains. Oh, there's Temporal Chains. I lied. Uh, making myself out to be a liar again. I think I take Demoralizing Shout. That's actually a pretty good card. Even though I don't have vulnerable charges. Prescription, I love that card. I'm going to pass on that and pass on that. Golden Bell. Actually kind of decent, but not the card I'm looking for. I think Seashell, I just take on her... Because it's something. I'd rather have draw than some random bless. But if I get a Lightbringer, you gotta think of the future. Alright, Command and Conquer, Double Shot, Infestation, and Chosen One. Next left we'll get Sacred Ceremony. I always say this car this is easy, so I guess I'm gonna take this. 
and we're gonna take the sacred ceremony. I can't go back on my word of telling everybody, hey, this corruptor's easy, and then not taking it. All right. Oh, we can double shot. Let's see what we get from ammunition to see if we get something really good to double shot. No. I think we actually double shot the random monster one. Or no, we double shot the rapid fire. Maybe. Hmm. Actually, quick shot. Let's see what we get. Alright. So. Double shot. Camo. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. Alright, Phil's already dead. Hurting is kind of super annoying, but... Oh, we get infestation right away. Good control, Black Death. We'll discard the one that doesn't burn. Or the one that burns, so we have a bigger discard. When we eventually go to... having to uh, play this Black Death. Oh, there's Soul Harvest. Vile Hurting. Or we can Desperate Pair Zek, and then he'll get to go before everybody. Effective Prophecy. Put that down. And fanaticism. That we can do a spark of life. Uh, do that. I'm just playing cards now randomly. Zach, we can just set him up. Uh, I can just do shadow bindings and curse of frailty. I would love to have like an attack. Alright, there's that. There's that. Shadow bindings, of course. Curse of frailty. Brett. I mean just look at Zed go and he's like full support mode. That could be fun, but no. I'm gonna take that scroll in case we get a uh bind power is actually not that bad but i think we got enough powerful going around hey we get a vile ring and then i think we actually put this on brie we want to pass put the survivability around an endless bag i don't think goes on anybody right now uh tragedy Alright, go up to this and open the chest, prepare for combat. Alright. Get a puffer fish. No shell. Stainless. I think put the stainless on Nez. And there's not much else here that I want. Pufferfish could be interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna take the tiny rod on Zek. I thought I could get actually uh highest tier items from this one, but I guess that's only the Coliseum. Also, dang, these guys two hypnocrabs. Or, them starting out with two hypnocrabs is not good, and they're super resistant to. A lot of things that we have. Alright, start off with the ammunitions. Alright, we need that one to have a bad day. Alright. This might actually be harder than the, uh, 
than the other, the one event, the Colosseum. I think we Pestilence first, then go for Black Death. All right, that one's dead. So I feel comfortable doing a Mana Surge here. Be full. Weakening Zek does nothing. Uh, interesting choices, yeah. Back to Prophecy. I think I put the Scry. Alright, Panacea over there. Description, see if we get a zero cost. We do. And then Sacred Ceremony. And that is the fifth chosen one. I mean, just camo and two pan of knives. Quick shot. All right, are we gonna be slowed by one? Yeah, it's not gonna slow us enough. Because I don't want to go after this. Ooh, we get command and conquer defensive strategy. And we can weaken. I think we play this just to uh, get more armor up for the Typhoon. Mighty Gate's so good. Alright. We can Pufferfish. I should have... Actually, no, there's like not much else I could do. I think we're gonna get amnesia whether I like it or not. Yeah. What tier of amnesia is that? Blue. I think it's just temporal chains back there. And then get rid of the amnesia of the Zectus deck. Next deck. We rhyme. Alright. Do that. Do that. Everybody's got tons of powerful again. Alright, Soul Harvest, Infestation. Yeah, that's interesting that this guy is probably harder than the uh, Colosseum by a good amount. I'll have to confer with my fellow Obelisk Modis. Curse of Vulnerability is going to be great. Heavenly Blessing is something I really want. We'll pass on those two. Actually, push forward would have been amazing. Alright, we'll pass on this. I kind of regret going to that node now. Don't feel like it was very, uh, beneficial. I thought it would get, a, like, a rare item out of it. Alright, we can... Camo, far shot, and I think we camo up again. Camo into smoke bomb. And then do I break my stealth? I'll be getting myself weakened, but I think it's worth it for passing around some mana. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to kill it. Alright. Come on, weaken me. Because now we get to Sacred Ceremony. But first we expect a prophecy to look for... The, uh... 
what do you call it? Alright, I think we've taken ceremony. Benediction. I was gonna look for the chosen one. I gotta stop saying, uh. I watched in the video the other day that. Get the practice to not say. Or not go, uh. As it shows that you don't have confidence in your words. Oh, we'll just do target shooting there. And hit him a few times. And then. Because if you're going, uh, all the time, it means you don't have confidence in your speech and your words. And then people will doubt you. Or something like that. Alright. Thinking of shifting scroll. Yeah, out more curses. We'll puffer fish. Uh, pass on that 14 dark to something. Pass on 14 more dark to something. I guess it's not passing on them. That much dark. Almost passed on weakness. That would have been cool. Don't want to curse Namakon though. Curse Namakon would be tight. Alright, we're gonna Crescent Light. Kablooey. Alright, Falcon Shot. Into fan. And I guess I'll let Bree cap everybody else off. Never mind. She's porcupining. Alright. Rage. The Tome of Inlect is alright, but not worth taking. Bloodguard, I'm actually gonna take that on the Sylvie because that does uh, slashing damage. So her sharpness will affect that. I think I pass on those three. This is craft cards. I can craft mythic cards. I don't think I have enough for... I think Curse is a... Curse Namakon is a mythic card. Well, might as well see if we can. No... Well, I know one way we can get a Curse Namakon. It's gonna be that. We're exotic shop. We got it. We got five thousand gold. All right. So I think we can conquer and rage. Now defensive strategy, intimidate, and trench. See if we get anything good from ammunitions. Volley. Actually pretty dang good. Look at that. Camo. Volley. And then I will actually wait. Frost volley. On the surge. Interesting starting hand. Yeah, I'll take, toss out the Curse of Vulnerability. Actually, you. Oh, I'll put Darkness Falls in the deck. We'll just give uh, Nez some energy. Alright, this fight is going to be annoying on both ends. I don't think we're going to be able to damage each other that much. Own apparel, we can get Heavenly Blessing. Like so. We can put Crescent Light on top of the deck. Uh, Banish, we can get rid of Magic Mushroom, hopefully. There we go. Alright. 
Target shooting. Camo. Hopefully we won't be killing ourselves too much with this. Alright. Demoralizing shot stockade. I want more thorns. All my fortifies run out, unfortunately. Alright, so we can do librarian. Fortunate. I think we go for her. First elements. Like rat. Black death. And then to another plague rat. We'll give Nez some energy. Because he might be able to finish the thing off. We don't have to worry about barrier. Alright, chosen one, fanaticism. The crescent light. This should do. A hefty amount of damage. Just hefty enough. Alright. I think we double shot. Bar shot. Alright, this guy's got... A decent amount of thorns we'll have to go through. I think I battle shot to give uh, fortify, make those thorns easier to punch into. Oh, we're gonna blow ourselves up, but it'll be fine. And perfect. A good level of lethal. Well, there's uh, torment of thorns. Endless Abyss. I don't think we have a way to discount that. As fun as it would be. And Vampire Tutor's discount is not permanent. So. Alright. Assassin's Tools. Oh, uh, Wing One. And Pass Pass. Could have used any Dark Weapon on Zek. Still could have used any dark weapon on Zek. Lapis necklace, endless bag, I think. And then, uh, pass up. Alright, get level 5. Fayborg, I was thinking about going thorns, but I don't think it's worth it. I'm not sure why I'm going Omniscient either, if I'm not running that. I don't think I have a single source of Inspire right now. Toss out the Holy Fire. Probably toss out Darkness Falls, it's just too much energy. I still like Fanatize for the duel. Alright, go in. Put Ash Storm in the deck for... Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. Alright, standard bearer. Stockade. Entrench. Pretty good defensive turn. Alright, we are gonna get a lot of sharp this first turn. Did I say a lot of sharp? I meant a lot of sharp. No powerful though to make good on that. But we'll be getting some soon. Mole Buster. Earthquake. Rock and Sylvie thing. My shifting scroll. We get a Shadow Bindings. Which is actually going to be a interesting 
pick. So I think we're gonna do that on ourselves, Shadow Bindings, and then pass. Uh, Heavenly Blessing. We could expect a prophecy out the. I was gonna say. Expect a prophecy out the. Uh, the discount, but it doesn't look like that's a thing. So. I think we sacred ceremony. And just give everybody a bunch of bless. I should have banished uh, Bergy. Got her powerful. Command and Conquer out. I think we can still get Command and Conquer out. Oh, we get a Battle Shout though. That is just as good. And I don't think Bree's ever going to get to that bag unless she gets a mana loop. Alright. We're doing some big damage. I think maybe we'll end this here though. We're gonna start off with pestilence because we want to keep a curse. We first we look for the possibility of curse of Namakon. There's the infestation I was looking for. Uh, discover skill. Put it on top of your deck. Like rat. I can darker troll twice. Now we can play Heavenly Blessing. It's hoping for Crescent Light though. We don't draw on. We can just kill him. I'll take that barrage. And I think it's a pass on everything else. Retaliator is going to be great. That's... I think this is going to be greater though. Retaliator goes on Zek. And a ring there. And uh, as much as Butcher Block would be great for Bless or Bumping Up the Sharp. All right, let's pick our stuff and then end the video there, folks. So we're going to go more damage. So everybody's sitting pretty. We got probably going bottom route, but this will be the end of part two of run three. Hope you all enjoyed. Remember to brush your teeth. Do not pet Magnus. He has a reputation and enjoy the rest of your days. Bye.